William Fitzusban, Lord of Bretoy, in Normandy, was a relative and close counsellor of William the Conqueror and one of the great magnates of early Norman England. He was created Earl of Hereford before the 22nd of February 1067, one of the first peerage titles in the English peerage. He is one of the very few proven companions of William the Conqueror known to have fought at the Battle of Hastings in 1066. His chief residence was Carisbrook Castle on the Isle of Wight, one of many English castles he built. Origins William Fitz Osborn was the son of Osborne the Steward, a nephew of Duchess Gunnor, the wife of Duke Richard I of Normandy. Osborne was the steward of his cousin Duke Robert I of Normandy. When Robert left the duchy to his young son William, Osborne became one of Duke William's guardians. Osborne married Emma, a daughter of Count Rodolphe of Ivory, who was a half-brother of Duke Richard I of Normandy. Through her he inherited a large property in central Normandy, including the honours of Pacey and Bretoy. Career pre-1066 William Fitz Osborne was probably raised at the court of his cousin William Duke of Normandy, and like his father, became one of the ducal stewards. He founded Cormay Abbey and Lyre Abbey, and St. Peverell Abbey. He was one of the earliest and most vigorous advocates of the invasion of England, and tradition holds that he convinced the doubters amongst the Norman barons of the feasibility of the invasion. Fitzosborne's younger brother Osborne Fitzosborne was one of Edward the Confessor's chaplains, and possessed the rich church of Bosham in Sussex where King Harold went to in the first scene of the Bayer Tapestry, and was well placed to pass along intelligence on the situation in England. He later became Bishop of Exeter, in England after 1066. As Duke William took control of England as William the Conqueror, Fitzosborne was given charge of the Isle of Wight, and then before the 22nd of February 1067 he was created Earl of Hereford as well as Earl of Gloucester, Earl of Worcester and Earl of Oxfordshire. That western part of England was not yet fully under Norman control, the understanding must have been that Fitzosborne was to take charge of the conquest of these regions when he was able. In the summer of 1067 King William returned to Normandy and left his half-brother Bishop Otto of Bayer and Fitzosborne in charge of England during his absence. The king was back in England in 1068 and Fitzosborne accompanied him in the subjugation of southwest England. He attended the king's wits and court in May 1068 and then visited Normandy, where he fell ill for some months. In February or March 1069 Fitzosborne was asked by William to oversee the peace in York, where Gilbert de Ghent was made castellan of the new castle. But Fitzosborne returned south in time to attend the King's Easter Court in April 1069 before returning to York. Anglo-Saxon resistance in the West Midlands was crushed later in 1069, and it is likely Fitzosborne played a major part in this, although the details are not certain. During this time Fitzosborne and his followers pushed on westwards into Wales, thus beginning the Norman conquest of the Welsh Kingdom of Gwent. Castle Builder as part of the assertion of Norman control over England and Wales, Fitzosborne was one of the major Norman castle builders. Early castles attributed to him include Carisbrook Castle on the Isle of Wight, Chepstow Castle in South Wales, Wigmore Castle and Clifford Castle in Herefordshire, Berkeley Castle in Gloucestershire and Monmouth Castle in Wales. Fitzosborne also created or improved fortifications in the towns of Hereford and Shrewsbury. Distraction and death in Flanders In 1070 trouble arose in Flanders, where King William's brother-in-law Count Baldwin Vi of Flanders had died, leaving his county and his young sons in the hands of his widow rich child, Countess of Mons and Hainaut. Her control of Flanders was challenged by the brother of her late husband, Robert the Frisian. Looking for help, she offered herself in marriage to Fitzosborne. He could not resist the chance to become also count of this rich principality, close to Normandy and hurried there with his army, where he was defeated by the Count of Flanders, and killed in the Battle of Castle on the 22nd of February 1071. Marriages and Progeny 
Fitzosborn married twice, firstly to Adeliza de Tosny, daughter of Roger I of Tosny, by whom he had three children, William of Bretoy, who succeeded his father in Normandy. He was held captive and tortured by a Selen Gawel de Perceval, Lupusa, Sire d'Ivry, until he finally granted his daughter Isabella de Bretoy in marriage to him. Roger de Bretoy, second Earl of Hereford, who succeeded his father in England and Wales, Emma de Bretoy, wife of Ralph the Gale, first Earl of Norfolk. Secondly, it must be assumed that he also married Richild, Countess of Mons and Hainaut shortly before the Battle of Castle in 1071. Death. He was killed in the Battle of Castle on the 22nd of February 1071.